Hey everyone, welcome to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Rich Parker. Here to do a quick review for you guys. We've yeah. got a number of them we're going to be recording today um, that uh, we'll be presenting throughout the coming weeks. But uh, one of the things we actually reported on not too long ago and talked about very briefly was the Hulu show that just got released this month, Light as a Feather. Yes. And this one is a, you know, very crafty kind of um, witchy show, I believe. Mm -hmm. we're, we've, we're both only two episodes in. Uh, what's interesting, though, is it only eight, you said? I think it's I at think least it's like, nine. It's, it might be ten. It might be ten, <coughs> but... Because um, I saw season one, episode nine under... Oh, uh, maybe. Pete watched... I was just going over what Pete said, because he watched it last while we left. We're gone, and he said it was really quick. It was He thought about eight episodes. It's, I think it is right ten, there, because... 10. Um, but the reason it so, feels so quick is because they're only 30, 25 yeah, minutes each. Yeah, yeah they're really short. Um, so it's a, it's a quick burn through, honestly. It's it's about five of your normal... T five or six of your normal TV episodes, mm -hmm. and then you're, you're going to be done. But we watched the first two, which is essentially the first hour... Or yeah. The pilot for a normal show that's, and that's why i felt like i'm like did i only watch one or did i watch yeah two? no because it honestly halfway through i was like that's not quite enough i right. want just a little bit more to see if i want to stick with it yeah and the weird thing is i mean this is obviously not directed at me this is your new mm -hmm. the craft or the secret circle or this uh, scream scream made even. a really good mm -hmm. uh, um TV version. Yeah, he made a good um, comparison because, because like I said, he had watched it. And I'm like, well, what do you, what do you think? It's more like he's like, scream. I'm like, season one or season two? And he's like, season one. And I'm like, uh, oh. oh. <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> well, I I'll say this. Um, I think Scream had the burden of having been a property I knew, so it didn't right. live up to it. This one is something new, so I'm letting it find its footing. Mm -hmm. I'm a little mm -hmm. more forgiving about it, but I'll be honest. I actually kind of enjoy it right out of the gate. Like, the characters aren't annoying. No. Um, for, for an entirely female cast, which is, you know, millennial teenage girls, I was worried that as a 30 year old man, um, I wouldn't be able to identify. And I don't identify. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I at least, I don't hate them. Like, right. I hate a lot of these characters in these right. newer movies and stuff and shows that come out. Yeah, they're likable. And they actually left the story... Um, they, they, What they did was they dropped a lot of hints in the first two episodes mm -hmm. of mysteries that I want to know more about. Like, mm -hmm. characters don't like each other, but we don't know why. And then there's, like, a mom is, you know, kind of lushy and worried, but we don't know exactly why. Uh, and you then, have your suspicions, but you're not sure yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, like, some of the other characters have, like, checkered pasts and, like, and, like, you know, uh, the new girl's mom that we get introduced to in this, um, like, she finds out that the new girl is going to join up with these other girls, and she's like, oh, that's so great. And, like, she had this look of relief. I'm like, what's going on there? Like, right. So it, they actually set up a lot of things, a lot of things that I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finish the okay. first season for at least. Yeah. Um, you know, whether I go beyond that or not, we'll yeah. see how the first season goes. But yeah, what were your overall thoughts? I feel like it might be addicted. I might get addicted to it depending on how well it continues. If it, they keep up this kind of like mystery train, because I was super addicted to Pretty, uh, Pretty Little Liars. Oh and, really? And and I know how like little girl millennial show that was but they were really good about setting up the mysteries and like pulling you along and you're like oh i think this is it and it's then you're Veronica like no. Marzi that way yeah the little yeah. mysteries to solve right and you're and you're like oh who could it be you know you know these little girls who are doing grown-up things and being super ridiculous <laughs> you have to get over that but you you know it's still enjoyable and 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 there is a little bit of the supernatural and mm -hmm. and and horror aspect of this and it kind of and, and I think it is powered by Goosebumps, because I think I saw something saying it was powered by Goosebumps. Oh, really? Yeah, because it was a little Goosebumpsy. Okay. In my opinion, like, like, it reminds me of those old stories you would read through. Like the young adult version of yeah, Goosebumps, kind of? Yeah. Slightly, slightly higher age? Little, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, um, I like that. I, I think... I think they did a really good job overall and we'll get into like the acting and everything like that but but I agree with you the the characters aren't like you know they're pedal deep but uh, so far well they're, they're, 
you can see that there's but something know, underneath, yeah. but we just don't know what it is yet. Right, right. Okay. Uh, okay, maybe knee deep. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah, I mean, Thank they're you. knee deep, you know, <laughs> like, you know who they are Ank- right I would say ankle deep at this point. We're ankle. maybe not quite knee yet. Uh, shin? <laughs> Yeah, well, okay. Oh, we'll, okay. We'll meet in the middle. They're shin deep. They're shin deep. Um, but you, you know who each girl is. You know where they classify. Or maybe you don't. You know, because maybe there, there, there will be a different twist. Right. And so mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. that's that's kind of cool. I like that. And it is a darker show than I actually thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. I mean, with the, with the whole description of the deaths and things. And yeah, then, you it know, got really. Uh, I was like, whoa. It got a little deep there. It's pretty dark. Was, it's pretty if, dark. I think if I was a, I was there in that graveyard when she's like going a little detailed about the, one of the deaths, I would have been like, I, like the first girl was like, I can't do this. Mm-hmm. Um, and the second girl was like, well, dang. Like, I think I would be creeped out about this chick too. Like, right. where is she going? So, well, let's yeah. jump into the story then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so basically we meet this group of girls. Um, it's this like foursome and they're friends mm-hmm. and they all are having fun and, you know, have, talking about boys and preparing for one of their big Halloween party yeah. that's like the social event of the summer or and, the, of the, of the of school the, year. Yeah, rather. and um, every Halloween, they do something for Halloween, but they do a pregame at the graveyard. Right, it's they, tradition. All, they all get together at the graveyard for this, for this little social, you know, gathering. And yeah. they play a game of some kind. It has and, to be something spooky. Yeah, and, and what, I, what I actually found interesting about the show that kind of drew me in as well is the structure. Uh-huh. Because um, it starts with the light as a feather game. Right. Um, but it, it doesn't even different. show it all. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the rest of the show is after the light is a feather game, but we don't even know it all. So, like, I think the third episode will probably begin with the light is a feather of this girl, and yeah. then we'll see the next two episodes kind of play out that. Right. Because um, it's really interesting that way. Yeah, because the first and the second episode played started out the first girl. With, yeah. And then we got an allusion to to what the other. Well, no, we did hear one of the other girls. Mm-hmm. Um, so okay, I'm, I'm, we're we're like talking amongst yeah, ourselves we're like, at this, this point. Yeah, this is gonna be super quick <laughs> and easy. Yeah. Um, but so they do this light as a feather game, and um, uh, they With have a twist. they have they have a new a, there's another girl there. Um, she's the new girl. She's the new girl at school, and you find out in the first episode that. She was accidentally a victim of a prank that one of the other girls is pulling on her boy, you know, boyfriend kind of thing. And so they bring her into the group and, you know, she comes up with, let's do light as a feather. And they're like, oh, isn't that kind of boring? And she's like, well, I have a twist. Um, in my game, the person that lays down, you basically say how they're going to die, and then you do light as a feather, stiff as a board. And I'm like, I've never heard of this before. Maybe there's a version of it, but... You know, those that new seems kids. Like, it seems those like... kids these days. Right inconvenience. But nonetheless, so the new girl, like, puts her hand on their... Puts her hands on their head like this, and just gives this... A, a portent? Like, what's what am I? Th- a, 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 not a prequel. Why can't I think of the word? Prophecy. There you prophecy. go. <laughs> I'm like, I this, don't know where you're going this, with this. This would be prophecy almost. Um, it's everyone thinks she's just kidding around, yeah. right? But she says this really in depth, like, scenario in right. which this girl is going to die. And then they play light as a feather, and everyone's and everyone's eyes are closed, but she actually like levitates, and then she drops, and they're like, and they open their eyes, and they're like, well, it felt like she was actually levitating, and and then they kind of like cut to the next day or whatever, and yeah. then we kind of see that the prophecy might indeed be, you know, coming true. Prophecies that she that she made at that right. night, anyway. But it, there is a twist with it. Like it mm-hmm. wasn't it wasn't exact, but. It leads you to think, and I think this is where Pete was coming in with the scream thing, it leads you to think that maybe, was it a self-fulfilling prophecy? Was it, you know, does the new girl have something Well, it was, exa- it was exact. It wasn't, though. It was. Was it? So, <laughs> so yeah. We Sorry, little we had a little part. spoiler discussion um, that I had to just chop out there. But uh, but yeah, it, it's it was it's just being executed mm-hmm. in in a very interesting way. Yeah. I, I'm I'm drawn in. I like the characters. I don't hate, none of them are annoying. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, like I don't find any of them annoying. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get particularly attached to all of them anyway. Right. Um. It's it it really what it feels like is an extended horror movie. Yeah. Uh. And I like that. Yeah. And and I will say a horror movie because it is dark. It's not like 
you know, super gory and stuff yet. We'll see what happens, you know. But um, there's more mysteries to uncover. The yeah. acting's fun. The, you know, the effects that we did get are, are, are good enough, you yeah. know. Yeah, and it was a little gore, like a little bit of gory. A little bit, a little bit, yeah, yeah, like, um, you know, you see body parts and mm -hmm. you see the blood. And, and I just I wasn't expecting that either. Mm -hmm. I guess... I don't know, because I, I, well, when you first start watching it, I was thinking WB, but it's Well, C, CW can still get that dark now. Like, they, they get... With the arms and stuff, and the I imagine, well, yeah, like, I well, because Buffy and all that, they used to do stuff like that sometimes. Yeah, but this was, I don't know, I felt like a little bit deeper than what you would normally maybe, get on, on, maybe. on that channel. But now, mm -hmm. you know what maybe. I mean? I, I think with the Vampire Diaries and the originals, they've probably done stuff like that. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, I, 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 I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. I want to. I want to finish it out. I think. I know. I keep bringing up Pete because he finished it already. But he did say um, that it is very different and it's kind of strange and and it's unexpected. So yeah, I'm kind of. I want to see what it. Well, I want to finish it out because I'm like, what does he mean by that? So, <laughs> so yeah. All right. Cool. Well, um, I think we'll go ahead and call the review there, guys. Um, yeah. Check it out. It's on Hulu. It's called Light as a Feather. It's, like I said, about 10 uh, half-hour episodes, so it's a real easy sit. Yeah, like a couple and it's, hours. It's kind time. of all ages, too. You, you, yeah. could, you could really watch it with, with most of your kids if you yeah. if you wanted to. Maybe 10 or up. 10 or up, okay. Well, you have kids, I don't. So. I have one, and he's 10 months, <laughs> and he watches Halloween, so I don't know. <laughs> all <laughs> right, guys. Well, let us know in the comments down below if you're wanting to check it out. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. I'm Archibald Girl. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.